Hi, I am talking today about a Facebook group um, that has just got a million went got a million members, and I even joined it not to endorse it, but just so I could say my piece on it. Um, the name of the group is. Dear Lord, this year you took my favorite actor, Patrick Swayze, you took my favorite actress, Farrah Fawcett. You took my favorite singer, Michael Jackson. I just want to let you know my favorite president is Barack Obama. Amen. Now, people are saying it's just a joke. And I don't know. I mean, this seems to be a, 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 a Tea Party uh, movement uh, website. I mean, it's not allied with the Tea Party, but... Raising a lot of the same concerns, uh, Obama's socialist, Obama's communist, uh, uh, things like that. Um, and uh, and the, the thing that really offends me is the opening thing. They say it's a joke, but we do not, we as Christians do not joke about that. And people might say, well, we're not hypocritical because we're not actually saying it, but you're saying it. Words matter. Words have power. And I have a feeling... Um, and, uh, I mean, like, one person said, like, uh, and I mean, there's, like, uh, and, and there's a, uh, the, it's, there is conflict here. And I see this website is like, is like a microcosm of the nation. There's this one, uh, this Facebook site, there's this one uh, woman who is, uh, who is a liberal and put like a picture of Jesus Christ giving the middle finger saying you are a failure even Jesus hates you I don't which I I hate and um, there's a lot of anger in the world there's a lot of anger in the world but we don't join the anger we speak out against injustice. We speak out. Um, um, uh, Diana Brown um, said that um, uh, that there is such a thing as religious indignation. Yes, we have that, but it's how we act that out. And this name of the Facebook page goes against Matthew 5 and Luke 6. Uh, Matthew 5, you have heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. And Luke 6, 27, but I tell you, I tell you who hear me, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. And this is not a blessing. And... And I just, I don't like what's going on in my country. I don't like this. I mean, and it's not just from the Tea Party right-wing crowd. It's also from the MoveOn.org, the Code Pink uh, left, the Alan Grayson crowd. And we are not talking to each other. We are not acting like Christians. We are acting like Angry, sinful human beings, which we are fallen, sinful human beings. But, I mean, we have to act more in the spirit. I, that's, I, I'm sorry for sounding like a broken record here, but it's just... And the thing that really offends me is because a lot of this, atheists are using this and see, see Christians? They don't even follow their own God. They don't even follow, uh, follow their own teacher. They're just hypocritical, angry, greedy little people. And I'm a Christian, and I take offense at that. And so I truly believe in this. All war isn't against people. It's against princes and principalities. It's, it's against cosmic powers. It's against the forces of darkness. And, and I feel like it's squeezing us from the right and the left. And that's why we have to. We can't let this world change us. We can't let this world turn us evil. 
We have to act according to the Spirit. And you don't act according to the Spirit with pictures of, of uh, Barack Obama uh, as a witch doctor. Um... Calling names, like calling Obama a douchebag. It's... I mean, this site is a real... I don't like this site because this, this Facebook group... It's divisive. There's pointless arguments. And like Galatians 5, how if we are living by the Spirit, we live it by joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. We are not saints. We will stumble. But this sight is living in a continuous fruits of the flesh. Hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions. And I don't like it. Uh, Paul said in T Second Timothy uh, 23, Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments, because you know they produce quarrels. And the Lord's servant must not quarrel, instead he must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. And this Facebook group is nothing but resentful. I mean, I understand, you can be angry. I mean, I was angry with what Bush did. Go, uh, uh, a war we did not need to go into while lowering the taxes for the most wealthy of Americans. <sighs> Kowtowing to energy, um, Halliburton, KBM, uh, etc., uh, at the expense of, uh, of the well of the well-being of this planet and of America, but I I never wanted him to die. I never jokingly said, "Oh, uh, you know," uh, 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 I mean, uh, like joking about Air Force One going down or something like that. I never did. I mean, I. I mean, I wasn't a Christian then. I mean, I didn't become a Christian until September of two thousand eight. Um, uh, but uh, uh, but before then. I mean, I would, I mean, and, and like, like, for example, Sarah Palin, I, I don't really like her. I think she's very divisive. Like, there are divisive people on the left as well. But I, I, I really don't like her because she uses her religion divisively. And the world is supposed to hate us because we show the light. The world isn't supposed to hate us because we act hypocritical. And so, I just want there to be discussions. I want there to be compromise. I want there to be people say, you know what? It's not absolute this. It's not absolute this. It's we'll meet in the common ground for what's good for America. What's good for everyone. And... This type of stuff doesn't do it. This type of stuff is not Christian. And I just, I want it to stop. I want it to stop. I, I pray, and I don't pray for the people who are in the site to die or, or for their computers to crash. I pray for their eyes to be open and to just live in a more Gentile, kind manner and treat each other in a Gentile and kind manner as well. God bless you.